Barely two days to the Makueni senatorial by-election and court drama persists. This time round, the Wiper Party chairman David Musila and his lawyers moving to the High Court for an urgent application to have the IEBC compelled to have Mutula Kilonzo Jr.'s name appear on the ballot paper. Wiper also wants the IEBC to abide by last Friday's court ruling that gave the party the green light to have a candidate in the race. The hearing for that application is set for tomorrow before Justice Richard Mwongo. For the integrity of this nation. Former Kibwezi MP Agnes Ndete Monday filed a notice at the Court of Appeal seeking to challenge the decision to clear Kilonzo Jr. as a candidate on the grounds that the deadline for nominations had been violated. But this was IEBC's position amid that confusion. Whatever difficulties we have, and these are understandable difficulties, whatever difficulties we'll have, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to be on the ballot. This is after the commissioners reached an agreement not to get entangled again in petitions against Kilonso's candidature, citing the High Court order that Wiper presents a candidate. Earlier in the day, senators supporting Kilonzo's candidature threatened to mobilize Makueni voters to boycott the election should the Wiper candidate's name miss on the ballot paper or be appended as an afterthought. In our meeting this morning, the IEBC proposed to have a sticker with the name of our candidate pasted on the ballot paper on the day of the election at the polling station. If Mutula Jr. presented or submitted his, 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 his documentation on Friday, even if this printer was in Iceland, you simply needed to email it. We want the highest office in the land to think about what has been going on in this circus and provide leadership. Kilonzo was cleared on Saturday morning by the IEBC a day after a three-judge bench barred his sister Kathy Kilonzo from vying on the grounds that she was not a registered voter and was therefore not qualified to vie for the seat. Alex Chamwada, Citizen Live at 9.